TINEL Towards Inclusive E-Learning. TINEL project organized its first Universal Design in E-Learning UDEL camp in Oslo in January 2020. Let's hear participant experiences from the camp. My name is Lars Harrison and I'm a senior lecturer at Lund University. I have my office in our campus in Helsingborg and I'm working with um, social work and education of social workers. What brought you to the Universal Design in e-learning camp? I've been working a lot on the uh, on internet, on the uh, education on internet. We're about, uh, we started our first courses in the yeah, the beginning of the 20th or the 21st century and over the time I've learned a lot of stuff but it's a few things that just sort of passes by without really thinking and it's the uh, um, you sit in a situation where you you believe that all right I'm doing the right thing I'm doing good things uh, I get good responses and uh, um, but I never really um, on when it comes to how each individual um, receives and acts on what we do. I've never really done that sort of feedback or that control when it comes to um, how different students actually participate in the course. That might sound strange, been working so long, and it's. It's not, of course, not completely true, but to make it uh, um, a comprehensive and more thought through strategy, how to figure this out, that made me uh, quite interested in, okay, what, what sort of ideas and strategies could be um, possible to obtain and develop. What did you learn during the camp? We got a lot of fantastic examples during the uh, 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 the camp that uh, um, uh, at least made me think uh, about uh, how much we have to uh, be considerate to people's uh, uh, differences to be able to uh, uh, perform well as, as as teachers and i believe that the the camp opened a few uh, 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 new options that i didn't have before because i did simply didn't know about them. Would you recommend UDEL camps to future participants? It's a good way to start. And uh, um, oh, it doesn't matter where, exactly where you are in your, in your career or how, if you're going to start to, to teach or, and work on, 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 on digital platforms or if you have worked like I have, have for a very long time. To me, it was so fun because the group we were different. We were very different. And it's it sort of also pronounced perhaps that we come from slightly different contexts, in many ways very similar, they're all academic and so on, but we come from different contexts. We have uh, 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 not only different subjects, but different nations and so on. And that that really adds to the, uh, the uh, experience from that. And exactly what you do with that, well, that depends on what you're working with, what, what, what your space is, where you can do things when you come home, I believe. But sure, you get a lot, a lot of, of uh, um, ideas, options, uh, uh, comments and possibilities to develop, de develop your ways of seeing things. Absolutely. That I believe that. And I, it has happened. And I'm trying to provoke my colleagues to think about it also. So, yes, um, answer is yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lars.